Welcome Aquarius. My name is Christiana with the Universal Healing Tarot and I will be doing your reading today. This will be on the month of December 2019. It's been really interesting so far. Really, really interesting. Um, it's it's going to be a hell of a month. Let's put it that way. Um, so just a couple quick aspects. I won't go into it too much. Um, we do have, we're out of Mercury's shadow finally. Early December. I do think it's the 6th, but I'm not positive about that. Just know it's early December, okay? Um, we also have the solstice, shortest day of the year, longest night, beautiful shift in energy, the days start becoming brighter, and um, then on the 26th we have a solar eclipse in the sign of Capricorn. And we have a boatload of planets in Capricorn. So eclipses bring change. Capricorn is hard worker. So these are going to be changes that we're really going to have to work at. If you want to look at your chart, see what house it falls in. Um, if you know where your rising sign, really pay attention to that. Um, I didn't do that work for you guys. I might in the future or something like this. I just really wanted to get this out before the holidays hit us just next week. So, um, yeah, just trying to get these out. Sorry guys. Plus I want, if you have a rising sign, I want you to, to, you know, if you know what time you were born, you can get your rising sign. Check that out. There's all kinds of information out there on the web. It will be helpful. Start See what changes you really need to make. And if it, they look like it's gonna it's gonna be hard, yeah, that's the one. Because if you don't make the changes, they'll be made for you. Alright. Um yeah, I think that's that's it. That's all I was wanting to say. So let's get uh, a chakra card, a point of uh, focus for the month, something that you We'll want to keep coming back to the point of focus for Aquarius for December 2019. What is the point of focus for Aquarius? For the collective of Aquarius for the month of December 2019. Woo! No, that's too many. That's too many. Okay. What is the point of focus, please, for our Aquarian's inner strength and play? I'm good. Just, I'm glad to see that. So you're going to have to, you know, really dig inside a little bit for some strength. There are going to be some, you know, and this could be emotionally, or it could just be like physically, which that can often lead to emotional. Um, but uh, one of the great ways of going about doing that is playing. Playing, it, like, clears our um, energy fields, lifts our spirits, and it allows room for that inner strength. To It gives us a purpose, right? If we have someone that we can play with, you know, and this can be partner, this can be children, or this can be your friends, your light-hearted friends, because um, not all our friends are light-hearted, right? But <laughs> or maybe they are. Good for you, if so. But um, just make sure that you're, you're making time for play, for feeling good, for, um, because that will help you with finding the inner strength. All right, okay, let's get to it. This is for Aquarius, for the collective of Aquarius. Please give me the best message for the highest good for Aquarius. 
Aquarius. For my beautiful Aquarians. The month of December 2019. Okay. Best messages for the highest good, please. For the collective of Aquarius. December 2019. Let me know when you're ready, Spirit. Okay, there we go. Hmm, Ten of Coins is on the bottom. That's really beautiful. And for me, this is like ultimate abundance in every way. Like not just um, monetary, but spiritual manifestation. Yeah, beautiful, okay. Ooh, and there we go, King of Coins starting us out. Success. Success is crossing you. So that's that's curious. We'll get more into that. Let's see what's going on here. Mm. Hmm. Okay. All right. That's good. Hmm. Okay. So I can see there are some self-defeating um, modes of thought affecting you. That's what I see in your past here. There was some deceit. And, you know, this could be on either side. But we do, um, I just want to point out that we have Jupiter. And I've been seeing this here and here. And Jupiter is moving out of Sagittarius this month into... Um, Capricorn and they say that as it leaves a sign it leaves gifts for those who have put forth the effort so I feel like you are getting a gift and I see this this is your hopes and fears and this is your subconscious they are at odds with each other but they are also like I can see how they interplay they are both coins right um this i see is kind of the manifestation the um magician card um the minor arcana because look how he's balancing these with just his his will he's glowing walking on water and this actually is the Ace of Cups in this deck, or it's associated with it. But Jupiter being there and the success here, I feel, you know, but it's crossing you. And I think the reason it's crossing you is that it's a mindset. You have this unworthy, and, you know, we can't manifest until we actually, you know, we can't reach this success until we know in our subconscious that we are worthy and we all are worthy. But we've been probably taught since we were, you know, kids that that isn't the way it works, you know. Your parents probably worked their asses off and what did, you know, what did they get for it? I mean, <clears throat> they're probably still struggling. Not, not for everybody, of course, but this is just, you know, um, living paycheck to paycheck. 
when you get brought up in that kind of environment, it's hard to really feel, you know, it, it gets passed down. I think this is where this inner strength, this, um, you know, this is the solar plexus chakra. Knowing your worth. And I, I feel like this is this six of wands here too. Because it looks like you are. You're this very, you know, you're in this very grounded, even abundant. And if you're, it, you know, it doesn't have to be monetarily. It can just, it can be spiritually. I mean, this is, this is the underlying energy here. Is this abundance? It's yours. It's just waiting inside these doors for you. And I see it here. We've got a page of coins here. This is a lack mindset. This is feeling unworthy. And I see it here too in your past. Your goal is the page of swords. I feel like you are wanting to um, initiate communication with someone. Perhaps this Queen of Wands here. This could be a fire sign. And remember, this can be reversed, okay? And we can all have um, masculine and feminine energy. This person is confident, sexy. Spiritual, knows what she wants. She's nurturing. And perhaps, you know, you are here, but maybe this is, you know, you're feeling like the Page of Swords. You don't know what to say. You're like, and this is Mercury too. Yeah. You're like, what do I say to her? <laughs> What do I have to offer her? Because, I mean, look at her. She's gorgeous, right? She oozes confidence. And perhaps she's a little imitating. Intimidating. God, I don't know what I just said. Oh, I can't wait to be out of the shadow. <coughs> mm. I'm telling you. <coughs> Woo. All right. So, but look at this. So this is your goal. This is actually what happens. All right. The Queen of Wands is there in your immediate future. And then we have the Knight of Wands as the outcome. Moving towards your desires. The advice from Spirit here is the Page of Coins. And I feel like this is it saying, okay, quit thinking about it. and start the communication. Have a real conversation, not this page of swords, which is often like, you know, you think about it a lot ahead of time, but it's just like, um, it, it isn't, it's more than it appears, right? It, it seems like kind of lighthearted and, you know, just just in passing, you know, this page of coins is a little bit more substantive. Because the success is here. And you have everything that a person could want. You're the king of coins here. You've got it all. You've just, in your subconscious, you don't feel worthy. And you've got to get over that. Because success... 
Success takes getting that confidence, pulling on that inner strength and making a re giving, making a real contact with someone with a real conversation. Your environment is the devil. I kind of get the idea that perhaps um, there it is a Capricorn um, or someone who's taking on that kind of energy. Some kind of temptation, some kind of, um, maybe even this way of thinking, but it's, so this is beyond your control. These external um, circumstances are typically beyond your control. Um, so maybe you're surrounded by people that make you feel this way. They're making you feel trapped, for sure. Making you question yourself. If at all possible, you need to remove yourself from these people. <laughs> at least don't let them, you know, make you feel this way because this is the reality. Okay. <clears throat> so in your hopes and fears, the two of coins, that gift from the universe, perhaps it is love that you're manifesting. It's queen of wands. And this has been um, a recurring theme. <laughs> you know, it's like, Oh, I want it, I want it. But then, like, the I thought of actually, when you think about actually getting it, it's like, oh, God, that's scary. <laughs> oh, what would I do? You know, it's like, yeah. But we just have to take one step at a time, right? But then your outcome is the Knight of Wands. Moving toward your desires. Yay! All right, let us, I'm gonna move all these over just a little bit. We're gonna get some clarification. <clears throat> this is for Aquarius, please. Clarification for this spread for the month of December, 2019. I'm gonna move this over here, just to, as a reminder. <laughs> a reminder that that is the underlying energy here. This is you, right? Okay. This is not. There are an awful lot of court cards here. An awful lot of court cards. The pretty cool, cool thing um, is that the only um, major arcana that we have, and the reason I say that this is a good thing is because um, it means these changes are happening quicker, right? Major arcana are major um, life lessons and tend to take a little bit longer to manifest in our lives. So this is looks to be fairly quick. For Aquarius, please. December 2019. Psst. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, so the Seven of Swords is on the bottom here. And then the Nine of Swords with the King of Pentacles. The, the Nine of, you know, Swords are always um, 
You know, it's mental. It's in our heads. This is confirmation of that. You are the King of Pentacles. Okay, this is for Aquarius. They are ready to talk. They are ready. The Queen of Pentacles is popping out. So that is... <clears throat> A true mate here. This it might be, you know, I feel like it's the same person. This is like how you see her. But she's she's a true mate. Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands, Temperance, Three of Wands. If you guys have um, Sagittarius in your chart, you might want to go look at that one. That was interesting. And this is looking very similar. <laughs> Not completely, but pretty similar. Yeah, pretty darn similar. Okay, I'm putting these back in here. This is about, you know, um, having some boundaries, setting some boundaries for yourself. Because I feel with this devil energy in your environment, you need some, some boundaries set up. <clears throat> um, it's also keeping, you know, that Ace of Cups, it's, it's coming in, it is, and um, you just need to be patient, because that Three of Wands is, is what you want, your ship's coming in, that was the end of Sagittarius's read. And that's temperance, right? That is Sagittarius. So if you've got Sagittarius heavy in your chart anywhere, watch that video. You'll find it very interesting. <laughs> All right. Let's get some clarification. Let's see here. Where do I want clarification? Let's go with the Queen of Wands. Who is the Queen of Wands? Tell us about the Queen of Wands here. Okay. The world is underneath. She's intuitive. Think very highly of her. Um, She's also very friendly, right? Maybe she is a friend. With this high priestess here and this queen of wands here, she's, yeah, she, yeah, you think the world of her. Why is she here in the future position? Why is she here in the future position? Why is the Queen of Wands here in the future position? Hmm. That is funny. It went over here and landed on this. It's strength. Mmm. A Leo, perhaps? Is it supposed to be upside down? No. And the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles is underneath it. Mm. 
Okay, I'm thinking that perhaps you are stepping into this Queen of Wands energy now. Yeah, that Leo energy. To feel confidence. You're taking on the Queen of Wands energy to move towards the Queen of Wands. Hmm? Sophia, okay. <sighs> Looks like options, lots of options coming to you really quick, needing a moment to look, to look at them and evaluate what you want to do. So we got the Seven of Cups, Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> Searching your intuition. Hmm. There might be a surprise coming in here. All right. I'm going to get out my art book because this is kind of um, confusing me a little bit. I like to get in here. We'll get a picture. Kind of bring this into focus. All right, <clears throat> Spirit, what is all this with the Queen of Wands doing here in the future, the immediate future? Why is this here? Tell me why this is here. Okay. Hmm. Papal Palace, Avignon. Look at that. It's one of the, you know, it's like all those dots. And I don't know how they've done this exactly, but they're just individual dots that make up the picture. Point to list. Yeah, there's a bit of illusion here, I feel. You know, with the Seven of Cups, all these choices. And this did come out upside down. Something is making you feel like you're, you've got, you know, she's got this mask on. And it's throwing you for a loop. It's 
And that's where you're having to pull, get the strength. Hmm. Curious. All right, let's see about this <clears throat> page of coins here. As far as advice goes, why is the page of coins here in the advice position? Why is the page of coins in the advice position? Tell us more about the page of coins. Boundaries. Hmm. The will of the year. Let's see if anything else in here flipped over. So yeah, this is about you getting something going. Like you set something in motion. Make sure you've got boundaries up because, and I feel like you know it, you have some intuition about this. Someone in your environment is not being, we've got the Seven of Swords in the past too. Somebody isn't being completely honest. Can we get some more for the Page of Coins, please? Page of Coins with the wheel. King of Cups. Can we get some more? What else you got for us? Temperance, patience. <laughs> yeah, okay, this is starting to look like your own business here. Let's see. We got oh, on the page of wands. So now we've got <clears throat> and this came over here and landed here. The Queen of Wands. Oh my God, you guys. I'm not sure who this Page of Wands is, but... She is the temptation. She's not all she appears. She's got secrets. She might be involved with somebody. This might be a three, you know, three person. And she takes your strength. That's why this was reversed. She will suck you. You guys, all right, okay, get your mind out of the gutter, all right, um, suck you dry was what I was going to say, um, suck your vitality, just, yeah. she seems to be bad news, and you need to be independent, looking, I mean, Here's this King of Cups. Control, being in control of your emotions, con in control of your environment, independent. Looking inwards, put down the burden. Yeah, and this Page of Wands, I, can't, I feel like this is... Um, Going inwards, searching oneself, finding the adventure in life again. <clears throat> mm. 
<clears throat> yeah, taking control, taking control of your life, your emotions. Have patience with yourself, with the situation. I check time. Yeah, I need to be wrapping this up. You guys have been making me work a little bit harder. Okay. Let's go to the two of coins here. <clears throat> Why is the two of coins here in the hopes and fears? Why is the two of coins here in the hopes and fears? Why is the two of coins here? here. Ten of swords, closing out the cycle. Two of wands. And then the hermit on the bottom. So... This could be a choice, a choice about ending a relationship. And I just got pulled to that Queen of Pentacles on the underside. I was so bent on making this your, um, I guess because the Knight of Wands was here, seeing that desire. Um, Maybe feeling your desire for her too. But there's a queen of pentacles. And perhaps this is someone that you've been involved with because the seven of swords came out here in your past too. Yeah, she does not make you feel good about yourself. She is the kind of girl, I just gotta say this real quick, that knows how to manipulate men, that knows how to suck their strength, you know, um, get their way, and yeah. I've seen it so many times, and it's always driven me absolutely crazy. They just didn't know how to do it, and I'm like, why do they get rewarded? <laughs> and they probably don't in the long run. But, um, yeah. No bueno. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. You're wanting to end the cycle. You're trying to gain the inner strength. You know, the Two of Wands is about or can be about like waiting and um, building up power for making a decision. And I see that here. And that's, you know, that's you building up that power. And it's there. You just have to get away from her. You've got to get over this mindset. All right, tell us about the Knight of Wands. Go within. The hermit is underneath. Go within and really, you know, look at yourself. This page of wands. Take. Don't forget to play. All right. <laughs> Don't forget to play. Oh, goodness. Okay. Knight of wands in the future. Knight of wands is the outcome, I mean. Tell us more about the Nine of Wands. Tell us more about the Nine of Wands. Hmm. Ah. Yep, there we go. There we go. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so we have seven of cups on the bottom again and I feel like in this instance this is you having options and realizing 
that you have options. Then we have the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Foundation, physical foundation, um, spiritual foundation, stability, beautiful stability. For, and you are going to walk away from this situation, this, and go towards your Ten of Cups. what really is going to bring you joy because she doesn't. You think that she will, but she doesn't. All right, we're gonna get some guidance. This is for Aquarius. For Aquarius, for December 2019. For Aquarius, December 2019. All right, let's see what we got. What advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this spread, December 2019? What advice do you have? Okay, we'll leave it there. Shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. And that is really perfect here because, and I think it's just a matter of you realizing, oh, I didn't realize two had come out here. Yeah, shifting your perception, air guardian. And when you are able to shift your perception, that is going to allow this transformation to occur. Night, be brave and honest. And direction guardian, choose your path. So I wanna read Shapeshifter. Yeah, you know, this one talks about um, if you don't know which direction to go, ask your guardian angels and they will support you. And no matter what path you go down, you are supported. There are lessons to be learned. And so don't beat yourself up over being with this woman. Every mistake we make, and I was with somebody like this, and I was absolutely crazy about them. All right. And now, you know, I was madly, madly in love with this person. And now I'm like, oh my God, what in the hell was I thinking? But um, there was something to be learned from it. And I can't, you know, beat myself up because I had bad judgment. There was something, you know, there was a reason I, I went through that. There was a lesson to be learned. So don't beat yourself up over it, all right? But do see her for what she is. And I think you are. Because you are manifesting this end, this Ten of Swords, the ending to this situation. So be brave and honest. It is going to take that inner strength, that honesty. Um, but let me get the book here. And read Shape Shifter because I think that that one is the most important here. Take your time and focus on developing your gifts and strengths. You may have been through many challenges and lows, but now you are in a space of transformation. You are moving beyond your past challenges and honing your current strengths. There are opportunities for you to discover and rediscover the gifts and talents that you were born with and born to share. All of your past experiences have only helped you to see how strong you really are. You are an amazing soul who can change and transform in ways that people least expect. You have many talents that you will share in this lifetime. You are guided to stay focused on the light, knowing that it will guide you forward. When this card arrives, 
There's also an opportunity for you to tap into the power of your spirit animal. Note if you're seeing a particular animal regularly because its medicine is coming to you. Beautiful. I want to bring that back up right here. That's gorgeous. And I have to say that with this one and this Knight of Wands here, I feel like we are getting ready to come into a time of mass awakening. So you may be a light worker or getting ready to have um, some kind of an awakening with the snake here and then a Knight of Wands. I mean, like, it could be a Kundalini awakening. It could just be ascension, what have you. Whatever resonates, I feel like you are moving towards that. All right. Beautiful Aquarius. Good luck with all of this. Please remember to play, all right? It's really important. And remember who you are, all right? You're really beautiful. You deserve more than what this person has to offer you, all right? Much love, sending healing vibes your way. And happy holidays. Enjoy them. And um, yeah, I'll connect with you again soon. Bye, Aquarius.